is Robert Hellenius, boxing doctor in the house. It was we had a great, great, great undercard that we've seen uh, today. Um, but I'm going to concentrate on the main event: Anthony Joshua versus Robert Hellenius. Joshua started off the fight. Uh, you know, I wasn't too sure, and and I think most of us, when when we when we were watching this fight, you, we didn't know what what to expect. And this was a this was a very important fight for Joshua because end of this year he should be facing Deontay Wilder. And uh, in this fight, we see elements of Anthony Joshua how he perform, performed against Andy Ruiz. That was the cautious, cautious uh, Joshua. And being cautious is great, but you still got to bring in technicality. You got to bring in movements. And uh, because, you know, fighters, you know, will, uh, every fighter is different. And I think Andy Ruiz, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, it, it, when he when he got the rematch against uh, Anthony Joshua, you know, I think it, it mentally, you know, he never he never was in that level, and so he, you know, going you know becoming a world champion, he was the first uh, Mexican American uh, heavyweight champion of the world, and I think that got to him. And Joshua was very cautious; uh, he didn't want to get knocked out, and and. and that's understandable. So as you know, Joshua's career proceeded, I think, you know, mentally that affected him a lot, that Andy Ruiz fight. And that losses to Alexander Usyk, uh, that was, that, that, you know, that was hard. And, and seeing his performance today uh, from his new trainer, uh, how he performed, you know, couple of rounds, we've seen elements of older Joshua. And then, as I said, being too patient sometimes is, you know, it, you know, you have to know why you're being patient. That's the key. Being patient and, and using technicality when you're fighting, using footwork and combinations and, 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 and being strate uh, strategic. And that's the Joshua I seen today. Moving forward, uh, a fight in Saudi Arabia against Deontay Wilder. That's what sh we should be seeing. Uh, that's, uh, you know, millions of dollars, you know, for both fighters. And I, I, I feel Joshua, he's going to bring in the, you know, he's going to bring in everything he has because he's going to improve. Because what I see, you know, I was disappointed some elements of this fight, but as the fight proceeded, I see Joshua really is working hard, and that's what makes fighters different, different from other fighters. Because Joshua, I see, he's still got the fire in him. He wants to be a world champion. He wants to be one of the best. And this KO, seventh round KO, it, it, you know, he, you know, he's showing to the world that you know what, I, I want to be with the mix. I want to be in the mix with the best, and I want to still be a top fighter, and I still want to be a world champion. So, so. We, we can't, you know, say anything but say we wish Anthony Joshua nothing but the best. And let's see what's going to happen against Wilder end of this year. Because one punch changes in the heavyweight division. One punch changes in a, in a boxing match, but in a heavyweight division, <laughs> one punch knocks a fighter out. KOs the fighter out. It, 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 heavyweight boxing is a different world. So, I, I'm, you know, uh, it's, it's going to be exciting to see Joshua versus Wilder. But Joshua has a lot of things to improve. And, uh, and you know, it, it, because, jo you know, Wilder is, 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 is not Robert Hellenius. He, you know, we, he's going to be in his face. He's going to throw combinations. He's going to go crazy. So, he has to learn how to be technical use footwork, use movement, and use combination as well. And use uh, his reach, um, use the distance, how to cut Wilder off. Um, those are the things will be very important going into the fight. 